the twentieth Sunday after Pentecost. Year B. From the Epistle to the Hebrews. Let us approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. In the name of the God of grace, even the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In our gospel for this week, a rich man comes to Jesus seeking vindication. Jesus tells him to go and sell what he owns to give to the poor before returning to follow Jesus. The man does go away, grieving. Whether he goes to follow the instructions or not, we do not know. It's not easy to give up what we own, whether kindred or pride or power or property, to follow Jesus in search of the kingdom. Sometimes we're given a choice in the timing. Other times we're like Job, finding the things we cling to stripped away, leaving us only with the choice of whether to seek vindication for our loss. Job seeks God, not to contend with God in power, but to be heard in his grief. Job leaves it to some other upright person to reason with God and to seek his acquittal while Job himself struggles between the desire to seek and the desire to hide. The letter to the Hebrews envisions this judgment scene that Job both longs for and fears. Here beside us is the upright one who advocates for us, having been tested in every respect as we are, forsaken and scorned, surrounded and ridiculed, poured out like water and at the last, laid in the dust of the grave, Jesus lifts up our suffering as both an offering and an argument on our behalf. Like Job, we know that we ourselves cannot contend with God, but Jesus invites us to follow him, seeking the kingdom, knowing that the same one who is able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart with a living and active word sharper than any two-edged sword has also provided himself for us as a sympathizer who can reason our case with that same word. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrow, approaching the throne of grace with boldness so as to present us as an offering to God. This Jesus stands beside us there, having given away all that he had to give on earth. Having, therefore, stored up for himself the treasure of eternal life, Jesus waits to bestow even that treasure upon us who are poor in heaven. Let us therefore entrust ourselves to him in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.